Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Good morning, Gabby. Good morning, Imogen. Okay. So, um, yesterday I was I was trying to fill this guy out, you know, trying to get him ready for the details today, and I think I've just about got him. I think I hope. Um, I filled out his head. I kind of shaped out his eyes a little bit. Ah, it's frozen. Hang on. We'll wait. Okay. So. I kind of made indents where his eyes are going to be. Um, his, his neck is nice and thick now. Traveling to his chest. <clears throat> and then I... I thickened up and tried to straighten out his tail. I, um, I bit all my fingernails off. They're all gone. Because I kept stabbing him. And it made me frustrated. <laughs> and I'm doing great today. Imogen, how about yourself? It should be done freezing now. For some reason it likes to start freezing first as soon as I start streaming. But then it clears up. Um, so I'm hoping that I have his shape down as best I can. I mean, if you guys see something, let me know and I'll take care of it real quick. But I think I've got it. He's got it. He's thick up top and then he gets thin. And then he gets <clears throat> thicker again as he gets to the tail. I think his belly is too skinny. Okay. So you're thinking right here, might need a little bit. I was just talking about the different things that, um, that I was working on to see if it needed anything. Um, Gabby seems to think his tummy's a little too thin right here. Compared to the picture. Uh, two things <clears throat> can fix that. I can add more to the top. Or I can add more to the tummy. Um, I kind of like the arc. So maybe I'll add more to the top. Uh, yeah. Uh, the game Last of Us is being played by Griffin in the background. That's like one of his favorite games. So the hope today... The hope is to... Um, is to get his horns, his little horns, his eyes. I can, if I can find the camera. Horns eyes um maybe maybe his tail wing and then this tail wing the the black and the red
Well, that's awesome, Imogen, that you're enjoying drawing. I am a horrible people. I don't even bother. <laughs> So I'm going to lay this on and then you tell me if it has the desired effect that we're going for. Hey Sonic, oh my gosh, how are you? <laughs> oh, and my coffee today is vanilla bean. It's a new sample flavor I got when I got in my two coffee flavor flavors. Wings are in the way. Griffin? Hi. Imogen says hello. Hi. Mm -hmm. He says hi. He's sick today. He's having a little fever. So he is chilling out. Oh, I'm sorry. You have a screwed up sleep schedule, Sonic. That's the worst. Good morning, Adriana. How are you? You made a bone dragon, Gabby? Oh, my goodness. I bet that was rough. 
I can't even imagine how I'd make one. Yep, that's right. The gang's back together. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what I was hoping to get to today, uh, Sonic. We shall see how it goes. <clears throat> um, the hope for today was his um, his face horns, his eyes, maybe outlining his mouth, and then the little wings back here, and then the two tail wings, the black one and the red one. We'll see though. We'll see how far I can get. This this right here wasn't an unexpected thing to do, although it did need it, so that's cool. I was a little iffy, but I wanted to get this started too, so. Got to do it right, right? Not in a hurry. Hey, Jill. <laughs> now the gang's all here. <laughs> Is that, is that your guys' theme song, Sonic? Have you chosen? <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm excited to see what we can get done today for details. Once I get this slight bit of thickening of the back finished.
what was that image in? You said I lost. Hey, Tricky's Trinkets. Good morning. Yay. Glad to have you. Um, so we're, we were thickening up right here on him. So I just added a, a big chunk of clay and I'm working it in right now. And that should finish like his look, like, like his, his base shape. When is it, once that's done, uh, the goal for today is going to be eyes, horns, uh, tail fins and yeah and then I'm gonna have a stream where I just cover his wings because I think that's gonna be an ordeal and I quite have not figured out yet how I'm gonna tackle that Hey Daisy. Is it fixed, the frozenness? Oh, thanks, Sonic. Yeah, I have a lot of um, my house is themed oriental. So I have a lot of cool like fans and wall scrolls up.
almost have this blended in. Let me just get the finishing touches here. trying to show you what I'm doing. <clears throat> uh, what was your question, Imogen? I might have missed it. I was trying to quickly get this done. <laughs> Oh, he's playing, uh, he's playing The Last of Us. Sonic, everybody has their own opinion. No offense taken. It's all good. Okay, uh, close, close to being done with this extra thing.
Well, we have we have the top done. And we have the side done. Now I just have to blend in this side. Uh, day's going good so far. I've got my coffee and I'm making a dragon. Can't really complain. <clears throat> Foot's not hurting, so that's good. These are all bonuses. Ah, the coffee today is vanilla bean. It's a free sample flavor that I got. I have yet to ever try it. So now I'm trying it. Pretty tasty too. Oh, and then for those of you just chiming in, in a, a fit of rage, I bit off all my fingernails because I kept stabbing him while I was grabbing him. <laughs> So he is toothless, and I have no nails. How in the world? Tendonitis in your thumb, Daisy? Ugh. What's the fix for that? Just rest in or what? make sure it feels right nice and smooth under the thumb no lumps no bumps no divots Okay, <clears throat> now, to start this video over, today we're going to add the details to the dragon. <laughs> okay. He looks a lot better too, like if you look at him from the, the top angle.
Um, so the plan for that is I think I think I want to maybe um, maybe maybe roll out the black and like maybe cut out the design and lay it against him and see if it's the right size because his upper wings they they like was the best way to explain this not gonna be closet are you okay okay his upper wings lay against his skin like this and his lower wings come out underneath it so once I attach like when it's said and done the upper wings will stop right there and then the lower wings will come out a little flap below it so I just got to make the flap see if I like the size and then when I attach it the upper wings are just going to lay up on top of it. And I messed up my smooth tray. <laughs> Thanks, Star. I like his feet too. His little big paws. So cute. Yeah. This is going to be huge, like a lot of clay, if you can see, <laughs> like it's the size of my hand. His name. It's going to be big, big and wingy. <laughs> you want to see the picture? Yeah. But the picture was just mainly for the sh general shape. Um, I have another picture here. If you can see it. It shows like how his bottom wings are supposed to look. And then how these are supposed to look. So these are gonna kinda be my guides gonna have that there to look at and uh, do my best. I'm wondering though if I shouldn't get his face done first. Get your crinkles in, Joe. <laughs> I can't wait to see what his little red tail is going to look like on him. And then I can either cut out the white design and then just stick it on, or I could actually paint it on afterwards. I haven't figured that out yet. <gasps> Have you tried it out, Joe? Your pasta machine? How is it? Kind of wish it was up here right now <laughs> as we're talking about it. Okay. I'm hoping, pretty sure I shouldn't need any more than these two bits of clay for his wings. Um, and then I was thinking I was gonna roll out little black spikes or even maybe um, 
throw down some pins for the membranes to or the bones of the little fins to help hold them. I gotta, I gotta figure that out real quick. We'll see how like how stiff it's gonna be or not. That's a good question. I know exactly what you're talking about, Daisy. Um, hmm. Okay, so what Daisy's talking about are the spikes that run along his back, where in number two we find out that his spikes split. <clears throat> um, probably single. Bikes, going with the classic where he doesn't know that they split yet like maybe sometime someday I could do a uh, you know like a night fury version where he's got the blue glowing split spikes like you know really fierce looking kind of pose or something um, but I'm, I'm thinking just the single spikes ought to do <clears throat> That's cool, Jill. I always wondered where to get those coins. Like, I don't know where to get them. Okay. So, got some clay. So, let's, uh, throw them out. Oh, by the way, I was, like, I was testing out some stuff to see, like, if it, if it looked good. might need to be a little smaller but those are his underneath his big ones he's got the two big ones and then he's got a little one and a little one and then he's got one more little one right between the big ones but I think I got the shape down so that's good Ooh, that would be interesting, Jill. A black, white, and blue. Yeah, it's like the two come off here and then they down his cheeks. I'm also, I'll show you something else I'm looking at for, um, for inspiration. You guys get to come with me for a second. So I'm looking at this for inspiration for where his horns go, where his how his face is shaped, you know, his paws, how his his back wings are going to look, stuff like that. Uh 
um, I like this picture a lot. It's going to help me with the wings. He's got the split, uh, the split fins going, but yeah. Hey, hello fellow world. It's, uh, if you look up How to Train Your Dragon statue it's by a company called sideshow i think pretty sure it's like like this big maybe <laughs> oh it's just my iphone uh iphone 8 i think Where did my pins go? Are my pins up here still? Hang on. Yes, they are. Hey, Dan. Thank you. How is your Friday morning treating you? It's Friday, right? <laughs> two pins just in case right. do these seem big enough yes to cut out a a wing design yeah that should be plenty big enough for a wing design. So, how best to do this? I wonder if one is big enough. Then I could just like do the symmetry thing. I'm going to play it safe and use two. I don't want to cheat myself with the size if I limit myself to just one thing here. So let us start. Be. 
about to just say. I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna do that. So I made like a little triangle shape so far. Um So he's got three little spikes that hold this up. There's it'll be it'll be one, two, three, if possible here. Um, so this let's see how this looks. Looks like it attaches right there. And obviously this side curves down and we'll cut out the little indents. But is that like do you think that's long enough or do you think you think that's too long? Hold it up again. So this is going to curve down and then it'll go Oh, so what are you, your dragon horns come off all the time and you have to glue them back on. Yeah, okay, so um, if you're making the horn, there's two different ways to help it stick, is when you, you 45 it, like, like you 45 it and it gives it a nice, a nice flat surface and then you stick it on and make sure, yes, that this is flat, um, but also, Another thing you can do is make a ball if you're not going to cut your horn and then, oh here I'll just use this. If you, if you, you know, ball in that area and then you, you can stick a little pin in it. <clears throat> and then then you stick the horn in that hole and voila that helps it as well so it just depends on if you're having a horn that is going to be on a flat area that you want to just stick on Yeah, TLS or Bacon Bond, either one works just fine. Um, okay, I'm going to see if I can copy this. Since the size seems to be okay.
I'm gonna use this. I don't wanna accidentally cut my template. Okay. Uh oh, am I frozen? No. We just can't see what I'm doing. There. That should be better. So now we have <clears throat> two little templates for the back of his tail. Not the back, the back of his butt. So I think I just need to shape these and then get the proper supports on the bottom and it should be good, you think? I mean, I can always make them smaller. That's like, that can always happen, but I can't make it bigger, you see. It's the opposite of cooking. <laughs> I can always take away, but I cannot add. <clears throat> get it smooth. Bye Leanne. Have a great day. Hey Clara. How are you today? You're making a dragon too? I think I want to get the shape down here. So I'm going to refer to my picture. <clears throat> so it looks like it goes something like this. This is why we draw it out first, for when it doesn't look right. <laughs> um, they may be too large, Sonic. That is uh, probably the case. I made them big on purpose so that I can cut them down if need be. So, 
let's see how it looks now. But yeah, I mean, I can cut them down a whole lot, so no need to worry about that. I just need to make sure, like, do I have the shape right? Let me think. Can you see it? I know he's kind of long with his tail like that. But... Okay, so let's let's go ahead and make them smaller. Shiny clay is the best. Okay. So I'm gonna lay this one right on top of the other one so that we know that they're exactly the same. Getting there. So if it is too big, I just keep chopping off the top and it'll it'll bring it in and make it smaller and smaller. Checking for symmetry. So yeah, this does seem a, a hair too big, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna line them up so that the symmetry stays. And then 
cut them at the same time so it's cut evenly and then check on to see how that looks bye Gabby have a great day size. Does it need to be smaller still? Or is it good? What do you guys think? Okay, I have an idea. the shape the shape needed to be fixed a little bit
I noticed the um, the end of the fin is a lot longer than the. It's like it's like it pulls into the tail. So I gotta make sure <clears throat> to show that. Maybe if I shorten these, the ends a little bit, like right here, and and then taper it down. Um, what are you asking, Sonic? This? My exacto? This says Art Advantage. I'm not exactly sure where I got it from or how long I've had it. I'm trying to I'm trying to eyeball his proportions here with this picture. For the wings, the fins. But see how they taper down and it comes out and then goes down, down, down. So trying maybe it needs to stop like right here and then come down down and then leave the length down here I'm just shorten it up here I want to make sure before I make this cut that I'm not cutting it too short or too small. trim it up a little more so I'm glad I made them big to start or else I wouldn't be able to trim and I'd have to re-ball it up and start all over again you know hmm this one this one feels promising And now I think I think I actually have the shape. So to make it smaller, I would just uh, cut along this edge, and it will bring it in to the body if it's still too far out. Although I think I have the shape spot on now. Which is exciting. So I'm going to line it up. Let's 
the trace of my cut. Okay. I know it's like I worry about cutting them any shorter, Sonic, because these wings, I mean, imagine when they're out, you know, they're flipping you to be like out to here. Um, hang on. Let me, uh, I subbed as well, Sonic. <laughs> So I think I'm going to lay this out one more time and take a peek at it. I'm thinking this is it though. This really feels right. Yeah, better big can be looking, that's for sure. I think that I think that's it. So now we can uh, set some stuff aside, pieces and bits. Set the wings aside now that we have them. Let's uh. Shall we work on the back wing? And then we could do the uh, the bones for all of them at the same time. Or should we do his face? Do you want to do the, the, the back wing or the face? Yeah, this shows the back wing. It's got one, two, three, four, five. And uh, they come just a little bit off the end there. And then it jets out, jets out, and then goes in, 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 in. So it kind of fans out and gets bigger, and then gets a little smaller, and then goes in. So, we'll see. I actually have, I have maybe a template for it, but it might not be the right size. Remember this. So what I can do is I can cut out that template and we'll put it on and see if that's the right size or not. you later for something. But for now, go away.
So it could just totally be the wrong size, but it could also help me get the shape I need. And then I can just, I can rework some clay and then trace it out bigger. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. <laughs> okay. Are we big enough yet? Just barely. I'm gonna swish some more clay on the back of this. I should just re-roll it. I'm gonna re-roll it. This has really been, other than the frustration with the wings and, and covering them, it's been a really fun experience. Like covering him, like shaping him out, covering him and building his body out. So I think, I think I want to do more like this, like, you know, make up my own dragon something, you know, from scratch. <clears throat> Didn't say it wasn't challenging, Adriana, but like looking back on it, like and seeing it Seeing it come together has been fun. Like if it ended up looking nothing like Toothless, then I'd say, nope, <laughs> not worth it ever again. But it's actually looking like him, so that's exciting. All right, you, what is your shape? You're kind of like this, and then you go kind of like that. Okay. Okay, um, I think the best way to do this, maybe, let's see if this idea works, if I can see it. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to kind of stab along the edge here. Put some pressure on the lines like I'm tracing it. <laughs> Yay for cheating! Now. <laughs> yep, Sonic. Gotta stab it. Oh, 
Okay. So, and these now, even if this doesn't work, I have the basic shape for the fin. So, like, if I rolled out a bigger piece, I can lay this on there if, I, if it needs to be bigger. And I can just trace slightly outside the edges to make the bigger shape. See? Okay, oh, uh, which wing is the red one? Which one is the not red one? trying to picture this should be the red one hey Morgan how are ya What do we think of this size? Trying to give you guys all the good angles here for it. Here, try that one. Think so? It's interesting how it's attached. It's just got this little bit right here. And then the rest is, like you said, not attached. What I can do is cut out the red so that we'll have two to look at. And go from there. I was thinking this dark red, the, uh, the Deadpool red. <clears throat> I have black on my fingers. I need to get it off. In the statue, okay, yeah, so it is the side, Adriana, yeah? The statue with the tail curved around. And went back up, but it was, is that right? Yeah? Okay. Gosh, I would hate to put it on the wrong side. <laughs> Please let me know if it's the wrong side, guys. <laughs> I 
I am not making hiccup. Mm -mm. But thanks for asking. <laughs> I don't do people. Yet. <laughs> I wish I had my pasta machine up here. This is really stiff. It's interesting, Sonic. And now I want to watch the movie again. I'll have Griff go to the movie theater, get me popcorn, and then we'll watch it. <laughs> Does that sound like a great plan? I can actually see the movie theater outside our window, so it's not far. <laughs> we do it all the time. Yeah, if we were to walk it, it's um it's one mile away. I think. A little over a mile. Maybe he's trying to confuse you, Morgan. Maybe that's maybe that's his goal. Or maybe he's giving you some information. <laughs> so true, Adriana. So true. But it would be delicious. So there's that. Mm -hmm. Gotta weigh it. <laughs> this is the stiffest bread. Oh my goodness. Can you hear my fingers snapping trying to condition this? Oh. It is worth it, Adriana, oh my gosh. And then some white cheddar flavor to sprinkle on the popcorn, yum. Okay, I think I'm done conditioning. It should be good enough. Okay. Go away, tiny red flakes. I need this space. Okay. I can't wait to see the red tail. I'm so excited. Nice, clean spot for it. Yes, the littlest things amuse me. It does not take much to make me happy. <laughs> Thanks, Morgan.
I think it is ready. Here, go away. Hey, you don't belong there. It's like really in there, too. Hang on. <laughs> there. I have to make it longer. Air bubbles. I need to stab them. There. Do I need to look it up? Are you guys looking it up for me? Which side the tail fin's on? Because I gotta know for 100%. Or I'll just, let me see if I can discern it from this picture here. <laughs> Okay, look. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. So, if this is the dragon's butt, dragon's butt, it's coming down on the left side. So it will come down here on the left side. Make sense? Sound good? my angle now. <clears throat> Alright. So now we're clear. We were doing it correctly. We just, just need to do it. <laughs> okay. So, fix the camera angle so you can see what I'm doing. I laid the black on top of the red. And now, I'm going to clean my tool so we don't draw black on the red. Drawing the outline. Hey, Mariah, welcome. I hope you're having a great day. We are having too much fun with wings. All right. Um, it is, it is Morgan. This is just like the first one I did. I'm 
Okay, here's here's fake fake wing. Let's get it on. Let's see how it looks. Fake wing. The red's a bit stiffer than the black. <laughs> what do you guys think? Well, Adriana likes it. So there we have it. Okay. I am almost, well... Slightly debating rolling out some more black, like thicker black, just to get it to be a little, a little stiffer than this, and then just recut it. I think I'll do that. Use some scraps because it, it's a little bit thinner than the red, and I know the red is really, really stiff right now, anyhow. But I think it'll make a difference. I'm thinking after I get this tail rolled out and then we have the size down. Uh thinking the next thing maybe we should do are put in the eyes. Just so that we have something fun to look at, you know what I'm saying? Cause those I can stick in and they can stay. I don't have to do the finagling I have to do with this. So I know it kind of feels, I don't know if it feels like that for you guys or not, but it feels like I, I've been doing stuff. <laughs> it feels like I haven't put anything on him yet. Oh yeah, I can totally put on the the little um the little leather that's holding his his wing on. Yeah. Yep. Got to do that. Little little props are fun. 
I was thinking of actually bringing the, it up and putting a saddle on, but we'll see. No dogs, don't start. Don't do it. Stop it. Uh oh, we froze. Um, all right. Stop. Hey, Kathis. Uh, sorry, the video froze. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with it. Let's see if it unfreezes here in a second. If not, we can, we can take a break and come back to this. Take a lunch break. You guys want to do that? Yeah, it seems to be frozen right now. So, let me take a peek at it. Yeah, Sebastian broke my stream. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to let this load, uh, take a lunch break, and then we'll be back. Alright, catch you guys later.